Okay, so they should be right over here. Uh, hey buddy, how's it going? Yo, we've been waiting for ya. The parasite of Camarocho, right? You're nothing but a dirty cop. <laughs> so you're the guys who attacked Homeland. What did you do that for? Huh? Why? You got some lot of nerve to ask. Our mission is to punish people like you who prey on the weak. I know all about you, how you would stop piles of money from women who can't go to the cops. You and that chubby old man are in it together. What are you gonna do with the money? Give it back to the people you stole it from, of course. That's why we brought you here. To have you tell us who you took the money from. And to break one or two of the, your arms so you'll never do anything like this again. <laughs> I see. So, is that all you have to say? Huh? What? If you're done talking, give me back the money. Do you think this is a game? Looks like we're gonna have to break more than just of your arms. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I can do the breaking of the arms for you. I'm surprisingly good at it. So how about we just take care of this little posse you got together? It's kind of cute, in all honesty. So if we just do this kick, which is the most... It's actually the most useful um, revelation that I think I've used so far. I haven't... I still haven't done the Skull Crusher, because as much as I really want to try it, it's kind of hard to use a move if, like, I cannot get behind them to pick them up. That's kind of just the way it goes, unfortunately. Got another foot stop, and I still haven't had any upgrades to any of my moves, which actually makes me wonder which moves are the moves I need to work on to get upgrades for them. So I'm not sure how it is there. Oh god, okay, he's got a bike. Let's dash in, and yeah! Nice and simply. <laughs> Alright, now give me the money. I'll never give it back. Not to a dirty scoundrel like you. Massa! Mei Hui, what are you doing here? I was so worried. And not just me. Huh? Tanamora, uh, are you okay? Massa, are you alright? Are you hurt? Massa! Hey, what are you doing to Massa? You better not hurt him! Who are all these people? I'm sorry, it looks like I made a terrible mistake. How could you believe stupid rumors? And you better apologize to my dad too. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. That's enough, Mohei. Mohei. It looks like he was just a misunderstanding. Maybe, but he just called you a chubby old man a few minutes ago, Zhao. What? But you were in the run too, Massa. You knew it was a misunderstanding right from the start. You should have talked it out instead of fighting. Yeah, I guess you're right. It just seemed like such a pain. Oh, Massa. You're Nagi, right? Th that's right. Was what you were just saying true? That talk about helping the weak? Of course! He already helped a lot of people in this town! This town was a bit of a cluster... Uh, of course, though. Alright, starting today, you're going to be helping the Asian Gateway. What? I bet that all along you've been using those same violent methods that you used to help people, am I right? That may be one way of doing things, but too many things to go on. It makes me nervous just thinking about it. Besides, we have the same goal. We should be working together, don't you agree? Will you, will you forgive us for what happened today? We're not the Yakuza. What happened today is over with. So, will you help? Uh. Yeah, of course! I'll teach you all about the Asian Gateway does. You can be my understudy. Oh, uh, 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 okay, thanks! Hey, I'm really sorry about today. Please take this as my apology to you. You got a ruby, Jesus! You know what? You know what, dude? You are the nicest gangster I've ever had the pleasure of beating down. 
Maybe not all people are truly evil. So, that's a bunch of, um, that's a bunch of side quests done, and I had nine skill points this entire time. I did not even realize. So, how about we fix that, why don't we? Because just hoarding all those skill points just seems like such a shame. So, let's see what kind of moves we have available to us now. In fact, let me very quickly see what kind of moves that I can get. So we got the Azure Dragon Spirit, which is an old classic. We got the Tortoise Spirit, which I need to the Phoenix Spirit to get. I got the Demon Spirit after I get the Yellow Dragon Sw Spirit. So these two seem to be the main ones. So hold R2, we're close to the enemy, and it automatically fills up into red. That's a sim that's a similar one as well. Hmm. Double Evasion. Which is a combat roll, it looks like. Um, I could get one of these two, so I got... Increase your heat gauge by dodging enemies with the Spear of the Composed Demon, so... I get heat while parrying! You know what? That sounds super useful! I'm going to get that, and you know what? Um... Hmm... I don't really need this, because... I'm I'm doing it pretty simple. I'm having a pretty easy time already getting the quick time command, and I don't think I need any of this. Um, like knockdown evasion, regard. Yeah, I think I'm good for the moment. So I'll save up for that tortoise spirit. But hey, that's another side quest down. So you know what, there is another side quest which I've been meaning to continue on for a while. So, how about we head on over to a place where I believe we can get it started. Um, hi, do we know each other? And have you ever heard of personal space? Believe me, I've had a bad experience with people in personal space, so I do not want to go back there. These guys are pros. I guess they work for the bridge. That must mean I'm getting closer to uncovering his real identity. Guess I can't die just yet. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. You know what that split remind me of? I know this is kind of random for me to say, and it's kind of a random reference, but for some reason, every time I see those kind of, like, um... sort of semi, like, positive, um, things, it's always, like, large-scale. It always reminds me of that song by Ice Cube, the rap song where he's like, Today was a good day. I always remember the line where he goes, I didn't have to use my AK, today was a good day, because... <laughs> It's just so, it's such a depressing thing to say, and it's such like a positive. I mean, it'll be like me if I said, hmm, no nuclear bombs were dropped on me. Today was a pretty good day. Just like, sort of like overly optimistic, but yet not optimistic. It's kind of funny in my opinion. Anyway, sir, I would appreciate it if you dropped that piece. Thank you very much. And I can also try out my new... Gathering of the heat move! I gotta get closer because I need to be able to do my gathering of the heat move. Will it which looks kind of it looks like I'm charging up a key attack in Dragon Ball. And I thought I was gonna be able to parry that, but I guess not. Actually speaking of which, just to do a little test, I wanna see if um Um I wanna see if my parry generates heat now with like the dragon spirit. So buddy, can you please attack me? Because I just wanna confirm that. I think that did. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that did indeed increase my heat gauge a little bit. <laughs> they ran away like pros too. I should get in touch with Saki about what to do next. Massa! I was hoping you'd call me, honey. Call him to ask me out on a date? Uh, sorry, no time for jokes now. I need to talk to you about Bridge. Oh, you're no fun at all. Okay, how about we meet at Shellac again? Got it, Shellac. See you there. 
Well, looks like we got a lead on that criminal syndicate, so I'll meet you guys at Shellac. I got a transvestite waiting on me. Not many days when you can say that. But well, that was delightfully unexpected. Well, here we go, shall it? Let's head on right in. You're late. You know you're not supposed to keep a lady waiting. Heh, <laughs> sorry. So that's the info Yabe left behind, hmm? You're right, that alone isn't going to be enough to catch him. Is there anything we can do? I can infiltrate the syndicate and check things out. What do you think? N no, I it's too dangerous. I'd just be working at the place the syndicate runs. Besides, now that I've seen the documents, I've passed the point of no return. Understood. But what would you do? I could be a hostess! Mmm, I don't know if, if they buy that. Have a little faith. All I need is a little makeup and I'd pass for a woman anywhere. Okay then, just stay safe, alright? Oh, this can only end well. Where are you going? To look into the relationship between my father and this mystery man, Kay. I've got nothing to lose, so I was thinking that I'd get my fortune read by that greedy old lady. Naomi? Yeah, she really seems to know her stuff. I wonder what's in that crystal ball, anyway. You know, Naomi is actually an informant. I thought she seemed suspicious, so she's an informant, huh? But don't tell anyone, okay? There's a lot of risk involved with being an informant in the Karamorocho. Why do you want to know Kay so bad anyway? My father wrote about Kay all the time in his notebook. I just want to know what kind of person he was. Besides, there might be some connection to Bridge. I see. Well, if I find anything, I'll contact you. Thanks. Well, looks like I need to go all the way back to the lady. Ah. Better be ready to fork over another 50,000 yen. Mm. Oh shit, here's upgraded move number two! I am just cranking out all of these upgraded moves and it seems like they're all tied to my finishing heat moves, so I'm glad I figured that out. So we got two of five, I believe, if if there's one for every single um, finishing move um, Tanamura has, then in that case, I better start working on my finishing move heat moves. But anyway. Yeah, 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 give me my 5,000 yen. I almost said $5,000. I wish I wish it was $5,000, but... Unfortunately, unfortunately not so. I think 5,000 yen is about... I think that's about $50? 50 pounds? It was one of the two. But anyway, no point in cutting now because Naomi's place is right here. Right here. So, might as well just head my um, on my way in. So, Naomi. What have you got for me today? I knew you were to return. Um, hello, Ms. Information Dealer. I assume you heard that from Saki, blessed with the gift of gab she is, or should I say cursed? It was a detective by the name of Yusuke Kage who was inquiring into a bridge with your father. Kage? So that's what he meant by Detective K. Most likely. Yusuke Kage. Well, that's one mystery solved. Only thing is, the name Detective K suddenly stops appearing in my father's memo book one day. Kage was fired for mistakes made on the job. Fired? 
After that, he opened a coffee shop. Foreign prostitutes were among his regular customers. Really? He had been looking after them while he was a detective. Even after he was fired, they would still come to him seeking advice. Does he still work at this shop? He died. Twenty-six years ago. The cause of death? It was reported as accidental, but all the facts pointed towards merger. So basically, he was eliminated because he got too close with those foreign prostitutes. That matter is too cloudy for Naomi to see. I don't believe a detective my father respected so much would, s would make careless mistakes. He shot and killed an innocent bystander by accident during one of his cases. I seriously doubt that's true. And why is that? Because crack detectives like him know how to use a gun. I doubt he'd miss his mark like that. Heh <laughs> heh. You seem to be a fine detective yourself. Your father said that cargo had been set up. By bridge? That I cannot see, but during an investigation on illegal immigration, the trail led to Carter to a certain government official. A government official? A few of the undocumented workers arrested by Carter had been issued suspicious looking visas. Many of them had been bought under the table. Someone was selling visas? Foreigners need a work visa or a student visa in order to work in Japan. But the screening for such visas is very strict. Many foreigners end up and bind them for corrupt officials for 400,000 yen or even 500,000 yen. 500,000 yen? That's like a whole dollar! Whoever gets that reference, you're awesome. But anyway. Why would anyone pay so much to come to Japan? Back then, we had a labor shortage. Employees never seemed to have enough workers. But most of all, migrant workers saw Japan as the promised land where jobs grew on trees. So Kadra suspected that government official of receiving money for issuing illegal visas? That is correct. So who was this official? Naomi does not know him for certain. However, it may very well be a bridge. Yeah. Oh, phone call. Hello, Tanamura. It's me. I've got some info on that group. Wait, y you do? Let's meet somewhere away from prying eyes. How about the rooftop garden on top of Volcano? I'll be there. Oh my god, she actually pulled it off. Or he pulled it off, or, uh, you know what, never mind. <laughs> I take it that was Saki. Mm-hmm. She was quite close to Kaka before he died. No kidding. You should talk to Saki if you wish to learn more about Kaka. Thank you. Well, that's a lead and a half if I've ever seen one, so off to Volcano Garden we go. Volcano Garden we go. We're off to see the wizard at the wonderful volcano. What am I even? What am I even doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the garden now. The meaning place Saki told me should be around here somewhere. By the way, nice looking pray place. Hi, handsome. Hey, don't surprise me like that. Sorry, honey. Things are starting to heat up, so I'm taking extra precautions. Would you say e you're even feeling the heat? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, uh, continue. Uh, is everything not Conte? I told you, I've passed the point of no return now, but it was worth the danger. What did you find out? The person behind the fake marriages, the counterfeit passports, recruitment of women, and everything else is a man named Sudawa. So, he's Bridge? No, I don't think so. Sudawa runs a trading company called Urban Foods. They import food mainly from countries in Asia. 
so that's how he knows what goes on locally in each country. His on-site employees seem to be handling the recruiting operations as well. You learned a lot in short time. You must have been one hell of a de detective back in the day. By the way, I wanted to ask you. Well, what is it? We heard everything. Huh? I thought you were just a shady transvestite. But you're working with the cops. So, you found me out. I guess I'm not as good as I used to be. Saki, you need to run. But... I'm sorry, but you just get in, in my way here. Got it. I'm busy. Let's solve this right here, right now. <laughs> Goddamn shady ass men with their shady shades and their shady black clothes, which actually look kind of stylish, but it doesn't matter. This is a pretty nice arena. It's always nice to have a change of scenery. Thing I would say is pretty good at. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, that was new. Are those stun grenades? Not gonna lie. I haven't seen that one yet. And try and so uh, you just got a taste of my new move right there, so you know. It's just the way it goes. So how about we take you out as well? Two, three, four, and slam! Easy. Saki, are you alright? <sighs> I haven't run that much in ages. Oh, you'll live. Where's Sugawa's company, this Urban Foods? I'm going in. Aren't you rushing things a little? We've already been targeted by Hitman. We're just exposing ourselves to more danger if we don't act fast. I have to go on the offensive. Oh, it is so nice to be young. Urban Foods is in the building with the information booth on Suppen Street. Be careful. Suppen Street. Got it. Well, we've been to shady organizations on every other street, so why not a new street while we're at it? So this is Urban Foods. Sugawa must be here. Hello? Sugawa? I wish to speak with you on the subject of the prostitutes and various other foreign members of the community. Shit! Tanamura! Uh, so you're Sugawa? Hmm. You came over this way just to die? <laughs> you're a deep shit, pal. You're gonna end up just like that dead rider. Yes. I the fool who would put the top man who comes in and tries to take my spot and I have no idea what I'm going on about anymore so uh, I'm just gonna beat up your dudes now so let's finish all of them shall we I'd say that's a good plan hey you're actually in the fight as well you know what I have mad respect for any boss man who decides to work with his clients as well as Against them. Okay, so if we can do a reversal, haha! <laughs> that's actually the first time I remember to use that move when someone grabbed me. Yes, there really is a first time for everything. Anyway, let's see if we can. One, two, three. Okay, not all of them are quite down yet, so one, two, three, four. Let's try and get all of the upgraded finishing moves. I'm not entirely sure if all of the finishing moves have upgrades, but it doesn't hurt to try and get them. Now, let's just take out Tony here. Wait a minute, Tony isn't a Japanese name. You're a fake. You know the guy they call Bridge, right? Eh? What the hell are you talking about? Let's make a deal. Huh? Give up Bridges identity and promise to never get involved with crime again and I'll forget about everything you've done. Or you can rot in a jail cell. Your choice. 
Will you promise you never tell anybody I talked? Sure. The real name of the man they call Bridge is Yuji Katsura. Yuji Katsura. He's the chairman of the Asian Women's Friendship Association. Friendship, huh? So they use that as a front to hide the terrible things they really do. If you value your life, you should run. Hmm. Friendship group, huh? That doesn't sound shady at all. We can't trust Katsura based on Sugawa's statement alone. Right, we can't afford to make any stupid moves until we get some hard evidence. He's completely hidden his trail so far, so he really must be on his guard. I mean to ask you before, but I heard you were close with that Detective Kaga who got killed. What? Who told you that? Naomi. Really? Could you tell me about Kaga? I helped Kaga out after I quit my detective job. At the cafe he ran? Yeah, I was counseling sex industry girls with problems, but then the syndicate found out about it. How? Carter. He was involved in the syndicate. He was on the take? Probably. So if he was involved with them, why would they kill him? Because he fell in love with a certain woman. One of the illegals? Yes. The woman from Thailand. They killed him when he tried to help her escape. But you never sold yourself out, and you're still helping immigrant women? There will always be women in bad trouble. Someone has to do something for them. Heh, <laughs> you're a true hero. Don't you mean heroine? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh man. Saki, all things considered, you're a pretty smooth gal. Got 5,000 experience, so that's that part of the side quest over and done with, so looks like we're going to have to wait for another lead. Man, out of all of the sub-stories, out of all of the characters, I feel like Tanamura has the most story-driven side quests. It's kind of nice to see, you know. Who's this? It's me. N Naomi? How did you get my num- Hmm. Remember who you're talking to. Anyway, I found out what Katsura is doing behind the scenes. Saki told you about him, didn't she? You know, you don't have to get involved in this, you know. Did I ask you to look after me, boy? If you want to know more, come see me. Okay, I owe you one. Well, that's one way to get a lead. But as I was saying, I kind of appreciate the structures that are, seems to be like all of the sub stories that all of the characters have are kind of different in some way. Like for example, Ta um, Akiyama's was definitely, definitely based on short stories with each of his clients. Saijima had a one long running story with um, Tadeshi. And all of the others seem to be short stories. Um, I guess apart from The Homelessman, which you could count as a long story. But Tanamora definitely has most of the long story side quests. It's just kind of interesting to me. But anyway, we should probably make our way to Naomi with little to no introduction. But I will fight some guys on the way just to see if I can get more finishing moves upgraded. So I'll meet you guys at Naomi's place. Unless any of the finishing moves upgrades. See you guys then.